Now, let's randomly answer questions from one of our followers. Kasi sabi man niya, pa-shoutout. Usually kasi kapag pini-PM niyo, hindi ko na lang i-mention kung kanino galing. Pero sabi man niya, pa-shoutout na din po kung okay lang, of course. Shoutout kay, ito siya, si KD Sarmiento. Tama ba yung pagka-pronounce ng name ko sa inyo? Uh, dalawang question ito, at ito ang sagutan natin ngayon. Let's read the problem. A number was decreased by 10%, and then the result was increased by 20%. If the result, bali after, the, after sa pag-decrease and increase, the result was 3,240. What was the original number? Isa-isahin muna natin yung given. Kapag sinabing decreased by 10%, first, let n be that number. Yung number natin ay decreased by 10%. Ibig sabihin yan, 90% of n. So, sulat muna natin si 90%. Kasi nga, decreased by 10%, ang natitira mo na lang ay 90%. Next, and the result was increased by 20%. Ang ibig sabihin niyan ng increased by 20%, 20% plus 100% of 90%. Ulitin natin. Para sa mga magagaling sa English, mas madali na in sa inyo ito kasi reading comprehension lang. Kapag once maintindihan mo siya, syempre, magaling kayo sa English. So, makukuha mo yung equation sa problem na ito. Huwag nyo lang pangunahan ng takot. Now, a number was decreased by 10%. Ibig sabihin, decreased means... Minus 10%. So, 90% na lang ang natitira. That means, 90% of N. Kasi let N be that number. And then, the result was increased by 20%. Ibig sabihin yan, 100% plus 20%. Bali, 100% of this one plus 20% dyan, yan na yung pinaka-result which is 300, uh, 3,240. So, kung 100% nito plus yung 20% pa kasi nga increased by 20%. Ibig sabihin, kung i-rewrite natin yan, 120% of 90% of N. The result was is yan siya. The result was 3,240. Ito na yung pinakasimpleng statement para sa problem na ito. So, madali na siyang gawan ng equation. 120% i-convert natin to decimal and that is 1.2. Ang of multiplication yan siya. Itong 90% convert natin to decimal. Ang of multiplication again, let n be that number equals 3,240. Now, i-multiply natin yan siya. Please see description ng video ito kasi ilalagay ko kung paano mag-multiply ng mga decimal numbers. At ang sagot dito ay 1.08 times n equals 3,240. I-isolate natin si n dyan para makuha natin yung value ni n. Since si 1.08 ay pang multiply sa n, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 3,240. Pang divide na ngayon siya dyan. So, na-isolate na si n dyan. In other words, kapag mag-transfer tayo para ma-isolate si n, nag-divide tayo ng 1.08 to both sides para ma-cancel out na yan siya at si n na lang ang natitira. So now, n is equal to 3,240 divided by 1.08. Kung gusto nyo isa-isahin natin yan, 
Although, you can see description ng video ito kasi ilalagay natin sa, dis sa yung mga link na dati na natin na-upload nito. So, kung gusto nyo isa-isahin, isa-isahin natin. Yung divisor, i-move natin yung decimal twice para ma number yan siya. So, kung twice tayo nag-move, twice din tayo dito sa loob. Ang decimal na to i-align mo sa taas. Yung space, lagyan mo ng zero. So, pwede na tayong mag-divide. So, dito tayo sa 300... 24 divided by 108 and that is equals to 3. 3 times 108 and that is 324. Tapos ito ay 0 na. Since ito namang tatlo ay poros naman siya 0. So no need na tayong mag bring down bring down kundi i-bring up natin yan siya. So ang sagot ay 3000. So ang number ay 3000. Now, let's double check. I-double check natin yan. Let's double check kung tama ba na 3,000 yung number na yan. Dito tayo mismo sa problem. A number was decreased by 10%. Yung number mismo natin ay 3,000. Kung i-decrease natin yan ng 10%, ano bang 10% sa 3,000? 300. 3,000 minus 300, and that is 2,700. The result was increased by 20%. Bali, ito plus yung 20% nito. 20% of 2,700 is 540. If the result was 3,240, so i-add na natin itong dalawa. 2,700 plus 540, and that is equals to 3,240. Another way, 120% of ito, kasi the result was increased by 120. 120% 120 of 2,700. Kung equal ba siya sa 3,240. Now, 120%, i-convert natin into decimal, that is 1.2. 1 1.2 1 times 2,700. Kayo na mag-multiply, and the result is 3,240. So, therefore, ang sagot natin na 3,000 ay tama. Next, basahin muna natin. Sergeant Aguirre has 40 bills consisting of 50 peso bills and 20 peso bills, the total value of which is 1,550 pesos. How many 20 peso bills does he have? Meron pa namang kahalintulad talaga nito na lumabas dati sa exam. At ito ang abangan nyo sa next na video. Thank you and God bless.